Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today this was a fun video for me to do because this is a tag video from Emily Noel and she's a big YouTuber here and um, she said, you know, if you had a thousand dollars to spend at Sephora, what would it be? If I had a thousand dollars to spend at Sephora, I would be so, so excited. But then again, I was thinking to myself, why limit myself at Sephora? I mean, there's Ulta too, right? But we'll stick to the rules of the tag, which is just strictly Sephora items. I don't think this is a hard thing to do at all. You can easily easily spend a thousand dollars but before we get started i want to tag my friends on youtube if you're watching this video tag your it this is such a fun video to watch because i'm always curious because everybody has a different list and i'm always curious you know if you had the money what would you get right how do you guys like my lips this is a really bright bright orange this is by fenty beauty right here this is my first time trying Fenty Beauty, and um, this is the color right there. I love it, you know, with this neutral face. It looks so summery, and I'm like ready to go to the beach. I got two actually because they were half off, and if they're still half off, I'm pretty sure they're still half off. Um, I'll link them down below. All right, let's get started because I'm so excited to really get into my list and tell you guys what I want. Just looking at the list, the total is 1,020, okay? And with taxes, it's gonna definitely go over that. At Sephora, I love their makeup equally as much as I love the skincare that's available. And so um, my list actually has a good combination of makeup and skincare that I wanna try. First one that I would love to buy is Tom Ford lipstick. They're $56. The one I'm showing you looks like a limited edition. Yep, it is a limited edition. So this looks like it has a cream texture, not fully matte. I don't own any Tom Ford lipsticks, and so I've always been curious. I think partly because the packaging doesn't interest me as much, I feel like it's a little boring, um, or maybe a little too mature which you know who am i kidding i should be in that age range <laughs> i would get this lost cherry lip color solely for the packaging and also i love that bright cherry lip that you could actually use during the summertime too 56 dollars lipstick the most expensive lipstick that i have are from pat mcgrath which are these it was a set of two and they were half off so i had to get them you know if you get two lipsticks for the price of one why not right the next one i think this is a new one from charlotte 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 tilbury <laughs> um it's their airbrush matte bronzer if this bronzer goes on sale i'm definitely gonna get it and i'll link a post of someone who's done the review on this bronzer before but yeah they are awesome i've heard great things and i'm all about the matte bronzer i don't want like very shimmery bronzers hold on Mm. I'm having iced coffee today. I was just feeling it. I was happy. You know, for the longest time, I haven't been excited to film. It's not because I didn't have any material. I've been holding on to all of these topics and things that I want to talk about. I don't know. We're just all going through something right now. And I am, yeah, today was a good day for me. It comes in four shades. So they have a medium deep the natural soft bronze medium golden bronze and the warm deep bronze so i think i would go with the medium deep it's described as an oversized natural matte bronzer infused with hyaluronic acid and finely milled pigments for skin perfecting bronzer filter for the face and body highlighted ingredients are you know the hyaluronic acid i think it's not going to deliver a super harsh matte finish but maybe it'll give you kind of like a sheen that perfect you know just perfect airbrush finish right um there are no sulfates in here it's gluten free for all of you guys who are allergic to gluten when it said that it reminded me of like the oversized bronzer i immediately thought of the mark jacobs bronzer that i have and i'm already imagining that this is how big it's gonna be look at this it's almost the size of my face not really <laughs> i got the tantric one a tantric omega bronzer but i feel like it's 
too light for me i need it to be like two shades darker i feel like so i haven't gotten a lot of use on this charlotte tilbury T charlotte tilbury um, matte bronzer is 55 dollars. okay so next one is the Farsali skin tune blurring perfecting primer serum comment down below if you've tried any of those farsali drops there's the white one like hydrating like they all do certain things pore perfecting um this one is a blur perfecting primer serum so it's a serum maybe this is something that you could use at night it's a hybrid um, primer and serum and softly blurs the skin reduces the appearance of pores and imperfections and creates a bright and fine-tuned effect normally i wouldn't buy primers unless it benefits me somehow like kind of like a skincare hybrid like this one um, because i feel like more product on your skin at least for me it personally gives me like more of a cakey look with makeup i love that this has kind of like a serum and primer all in one it says it contains vitamin c to brighten and even the look of skin tone mushroom derived poria cocos to soothe and cucumber extract to condition the skin it has a lot of great ingredients and it's clean at sephora so comment down below if you've tried any of the farsali drops i've never tried it but if i had a thousand dollars to spend i would definitely try uh the farsali line and i highly suggest that too i've heard great things and i think you should find the one that kind of meets your skin needs and then get that one this is 54 dollars, guys for one ounce you know drunk elephant brand is just expensive in general and i've tried their um it's the one in the pink bottle the full size one i think that it was like around 75 dollars or 90 dollars and of course i never get anything regular price i think i got them on sale at one point that's another brand that like i'm afraid to touch because of how um high the price tag is on them this one is a a d bronzer anti-pollution sunshine drops when i hear anti-pollution i'm in because i feel like those types of ingredients really helps protect your skin from environmental damage this one is kind of has a tint to it like it has the serum but also that bronzy look for the summer but this is great if you have fine lines if you have dark spots if you have dull skin especially for the summertime when your skin is very dry i think this is going to give you that glowy appearance like a healthy hydrated appearance this is something you could add to your foundation to your moisturizer but yeah i would love to try that this is by drunk elephant and it's 36 dollars pass mcgrath labs the most recent one that came out the mothership uh eight i can't keep track anymore this is the artistry eyeshadow palette divine rose 2 collection i've seen a lot of pat mcgrath um palettes that have come out none of them really interest me as much as this latest one because it has that tri trichrome color meaning it's a combination of three colors in one which is i feel like it's such a unique concept to me because we always see like the duo chrome eyeshadow this one is three wow so i think that's very innovative very new Pat McGrath Labs are $125 for one palette, guys. And it's like two, four, six, eight, ten shades. This one I would definitely, you know, get if I had the money for. But even if I didn't, I didn't have the money for, <laughs> I feel like I'd wait for a sale and still get it. This would be like a birthday present slash Christmas present for me. You know, like special occasion. Like, come on, Mother's Day, get it for me, please. <laughs> I've never tried Pat McGrath but i've never heard a single youtuber complain about this palette and if there's one palette one of those palettes that speaks to you and you have the money like wow luxury at its best you know codalie come on codalie send me something i love this brand or at least some of the skin cares that i've tried you guys know i love the codalie oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank i'll put it up here right here somewhere i love that moisturizer i feel like that's my number one this one that i'm recommending aside from the moisturizer is this vinyl sculpt lift and firm body cream 
why not right i have a thousand dollars i'm definitely gonna spend it on some you know body perfecting uh skincare uh it's a moisturizing body cream that firms lifts tighten and sculpts the appearance of your bum legs arms and waist i think this would be the competition for the um sol de janeiro bum bum cream right a lot of people love that i wasn't impressed don't hate me I felt like it wasn't moisturizing enough. This one does exact same thing and it's $45. And the difference is that it's clean at Sephora. It's a rich, rich body cream, I feel like. It's something that I would definitely splurge for if I have a thousand dollars. Riogio Scalp Revival Charcoal Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Scalp Scrub Shampoo. I've tried the travel size one and I love it. It kind of takes off the grit and the grime in your scalp, especially if you have flaky, itchy scalp. I feel like this helps a lot. It has that coconut oil, it has charcoal, it detoxifies, and also it hydrates the scalp. It's actually one of Allure's Best in Beauty Award winner. So um, yeah, this is something that I definitely want to try. I even want to try the like the whole set where it comes with conditioner and also that scrubbing comb that you use in the shower. The next one is the Viseart Apparel Spritz Eyeshadow Palette and it's $39. Viseart is a another expensive brand but it's not like crazy expensive like you know Tom Ford um, but I love their palettes and I feel like this one in particular is perfect for the summertime because it has kind of those lemony orange like bronzy tones to it it's free of sulfates parabens it has like apricot colors it's got you know mattes and shimmers and luminous finishes and i like how these palettes are not so big you know what i'm realizing is that i don't like super super gigantic palettes like you know those like big morphe palettes although they're very good in quality and they're super nice i feel like i get overwhelmed with like huge palettes and i don't get the most use out of them just because there's so much variety in color and their shade range are just slightly different from one another and i like like a palette um you know like these rectangular palettes where they have like an awesome color story and um i just know i can use you know at least 50 percent of these shadows when i do use this palette they're different from one another to where they're interesting this is looks like a 12 pan palette i think that's the max that i would go when it comes to palettes um and i love how it's compact and easy for travel and i've never tried um eyeshadows from Viseart, but i've heard definitely great things it's a very popular brand at sephora milk makeup why not milk makeup is a clean brand of at sephora and i would love to try their matte bronzer it's only 28 dollars. it's not only it's expensive guys <laughs> for makeup but i am starting to get into those bronzers that are like in stick form where i could just draw in like a straight line to contour my nose because i love to use bronzers as contours as well i feel like it's just easy you know draw it in and then draw a straight line down straight line down and then just have the brush blend it in and milk is so innovative when it comes to their packaging i love it it looks like they just come in two colors it also has apricot oil and mango butter i think i saw the apricot ingredient in the charlotte tilbury i cannot pronounce that brand <laughs> the charlotte tilbury airbrush matte bronzer as well so they have similar ingredients but it is $20 cheaper guys I might go for the milk makeup this year this one is the Tatcha silk canvas protective primer crazy crazy expensive brand it's like high quality everybody raves about this it's clean at Sephora it's $52 um and i've watched like people with oily skin tone dry skin and they have all loved it so i feel like what is this magic right i'm usually not into primers like i said but this is definitely getting my attention i definitely want to try like the travel size one it blurs smooths and makes makeup last longer and i'm all about it and it's so fancy you know it has a little 
silver coin whatever you call that like to pick the product up and so you don't get your actual fingers into the product another product from tatcha is their essence tatcha please do a travel size because i can't afford 95 dollars and it's supposed to be a skin plump being skin softener essence it's a resurfacing softener with 98.7 percent pure anti-aging japanese superfood that makes all skincare work better so essence is really something that you put first before like all your serums and your um, moisturizer it just kind of preps your skin to be able to absorb all of those serums deeper into the skin anti-aging yes please plumping yes please because everything is a little bit droopy right now <laughs> just overall maximizes the performance of your skincare so what a great product 95 dollars though i mean that's gonna break the bank guys another eyeshadow palette is from natasha denona um great quality you know when it comes to eyeshadow palettes it's a little bit cheaper than the pat mcgrath eyeshadows um because you get so much more color the palette that i'm talking about is the metropolis eyeshadow palette this palette in particular is great for anybody who loves like neutral shades like this could be your go-to palette for the everyday work and school makeup i think this is it it has your brown shades your neutral shades and then you have that pop of color which is like your blues and your greens and like a bright gold this is something that i would love to own and i think i would get a lot of use out okay the next one that i would try is the caudalie vino perfect anti-dark spot serum it's 79 dollars. it's a serum that removes dark spots and yeah i need it i always always have acne i need those anti-dark spots correctors or serums most anti-dark spot serums are pretty expensive i mean the cheapest one i've seen around is around 40 dollars. the ones that work okay that i feel like it really works in eliminating your dark spots within days but this one sounds very promising it removes dark spots dullness and texture and uneven texture oh and i love it that it's oil free it's dermatology tested and it's clean at sephora so amazing um and it's 79 dollars though guys <laughs> The next one, and this is what maybe I would remove from my list, but I want to put it in there. It's by Kosas. Kosas is a newer brand to me. I've seen it around on YouTube and also on social media, um, but I think it's a Korean brand. This is their Wet Lip Oil Gloss, and it's $27, and it comes in only about five colors i don't know if you've watched my empties videos but the lancome juicy shaker has that same idea like the pigment plus the oil base uh lip gloss and i feel like i love those so much more than lip balms i wish they had a little bit more color selections though um but i think this is for like the no makeup makeup look especially during the summertime other item that i would love to try is the natasha denona bloom cheek palette aside from eyeshadows i feel like i love face palettes like blush bronzer cheek palettes and highlighter all in one and this one has it it's free of parabens it's cruelty free and gluten free so that's good um but yeah it gives you i think it's a very hydrating blush i've learned to appreciate like creamy products more nowadays um i don't know if it's the aging skin <laughs> but you know today i have as my highlighter this illuminator drop from iconic london so that's what i have i don't know if you guys can see that um i can see it <laughs> but yeah i've been loving this it's perfect for my skin tone i feel like and it doesn't accentuate the pores blushes and highlighters i don't mind that it's liquid or cream and what i like about this is i feel like it has like a good amount of shades that are for medium to dark skin tones so i think it would work for a lot of people um even for like lighter skin tones for the sure last two items i have is the sephora collection this sephora pro palette is 68 dollars, and yes you could say that is on the pricey range 
I have great, heard great things about this, guys. And I've swatched this at the store. Great quality. I think they have the purple one. They have the super orangey, summery colors. And this one, I picked the neutral one. Yeah, it has 28 different high pigment rose and warm shades. And it's with gorgeous textures such as satin, matte, and metallic finishes. I've always wanted to try this ever since they came out and then they started coming out with all other types of color stories. And yeah, and the packaging is so sleek. I feel like, you know, it's just black with the word Sephora Pro. If you're on a budget and you want like a big palette, I think this is Sephora Pro collection is the way to go. Okay, the next one is a Wishful Skin. This one is a Clean Genie Makeup makeup removing cleansing balm. I've been really into cleansing balms. Um, one of my favorites is from Clinique. I've also mentioned that in my empties videos right here in case you want to watch it. But yeah, Wishful Skin is from Huda, right? Love the blue packaging by the way. And it's $35 for three ounces. So you get a big jar. And it's infused with green tea and cherry blossom extract to melt away makeup while keeping skin feeling soft and supple. Cherry Blossom, I've never tried that before. It conditions the skin. That's that's a pretty uh, unique ingredient that I don't hear as much in skincare. You know what I like about this is that it's clean at Sephora, guys. So that is it, guys. If you add this up, according to my cart, it's $1,020. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this imaginary shopping cart from Sephora. Definitely this was a fun thing for me to do. It kind of was like a stress reliever for me. So yeah, I am tagging all of you guys. Um, if you are watching this video, if you had a thousand dollars to spend at Sephora, what would that be? What would be your list? Your dream wish list? Because a girl can dream, right? Comment down below what you would like to get from the choices that you've seen me recommend. Um, or just mention what you would definitely want to buy for a thousand dollars. You know, like give me one item that you have been eyeing. It's been sitting in your cart or your most loved list. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel. There's always something to learn here on my channel. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye